So how are you guys doing in there? Hmm? If I come in there, will you guys come down by me? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That's a trait. You ever seen Mon do that? So these are Luna pups raised by Vida. Luna and Vida are sisters. And they decided to help each other out, so they switched who's raising who. So this is a true pack at work effort. Oh, you girls are good. Oh my goodness. There's my big girl. There's my big girl. You better come say hello. Oh, my big girl. Oh, my big girl. There's my girls. These are all my girls right here. There's my big boy. Come on, buddy. Get up here. Oh, my goodness. What a rock star set of pups. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. So this is probably... Uh, Patty's girl right here. And uh, one of these two rock stars is heading up to Pepper. And I'll keep one. And you could be Don and Rosie's big boy. You're such a good boy. And this big fella, this big gray boy, is probably going to Mark in Illinois and his family. Oh, you guys are good. Right, and there's one more big boy in here, and that's another mark. I can't believe it how good you guys are. I can't believe it. These are Karoo and Luna pups. Unbelievable how nice they are. So I want to talk a little bit about the food. So these guys will be going on raw this weekend. Ground beef, ground chicken, stuff like that, ground turkey. Uh, wild game, some, some lamb, some pork, quail, things like that. We get a ration prepared, but you can easily make the ration for guys like this. I made it for years, and you would just take like a flat of chicken wings and throw them through a little grinder and grind them up or dice them up and or get some pork grinder up or dice her up, dice her up small and feed proteins, meat and they're easy to feed you don't have to worry about roughage for a pup you just feed pretty well all protein you get a little fish, frozen fish Cut the head off, take the guts out, freeze it, and then just slice it real thin. These guys will eat slices by the time they get going. You can dice it too, if you like. But you want to feed fish fairly regular and feed meat. Don't worry about roughage for a pup. Pups shouldn't have roughage for a year. Once they're a year old, you can start adding in some berries, a little carrot, a little pumpkin maybe. A little bit of kelp, max 10% roughage, and primarily berries. No grains, no potatoes, no lentils, no field peas, no rice, none of that crap. You guys don't hunt rice. You haven't chased down a lentil for, for your heritage. These are 4,000 year old dogs. This particular group of pups, this lineage, has eaten raw the entire time. Believe it. This entire image. This is the oldest known line of elk hounds in the planet. And they've eaten raw all the time. So, works. These are probably the best elk hounds on the planet right now. 
You guys are good. I can hear your mother. Or no, that would be your, your stepmother. <laughs> your mother by another mother. <laughs> uh, it's your mama's sister. I can hear her. Oh, you guys are good. Jesus, you guys are good. Man, you two boys are something. Holy smokes. You boys are something. You boys are moose hunters. You're moose hunters, boy. Bear hunters. So a little bit of tripe. Feed a little bit of tripe. About once a week, give them a little bit. Buy it by the can and make sure you've got one of them plastic container tops that you can put on the can that stinks. And just give them a little bit. And then next day, give them a little bit more. And next day, feed the rest of the can and wait another week. Fish every third day, kind of, or drizzle it on top, a little bit of fish oil if you can't find fish, drizzle it on the meat, bones to chew, raw bones, marrow bones that they can clean all off outside, dig out the marrow, and uh, lots of lots of bones for them to chew on that are that they can't break yet, and then uh, they do good, they'll clean off meat. You can uh, get trimmings, beef fat, pork feet, chicken feet, all those things. Dice up what you can. Some of the bigger stuff, chuck them out, let them chew them all off. Throw the other bones over to the big dog. If you only got one dog, then once the marrow bones are hard and clean, you throw them out. You put little chicken wings in through a grinder so the bone's in. Fish is good, you feed all bone in fish, but you always feed fish frozen. Slice it, dice it. If you want, just slice it in short order. I mean, they can eat a half inch thick, inch thick piece of fish frozen. <coughs> Salmon, sardines, mackerel, that kind of stuff. If you hunt, of course, everything is fair game. You feed a lot of organ, heart, liver, lung, kidney. Yeah, you can get the gizzards. You'll see the gizzards at the butcher. Get them. You'll see lots of beef heart on sale. Liver. I feed the heart and liver frozen. I just slice her up. Chuck them out a slice. It's not their ration. I just chuck it on the ration. If you want to grind it in the ration, that's fantastic. I got an article on the site. How to feed these guys. You guys are good, boy. You guys are good. You guys are good. Jesus, you guys are good. Get up by me here, guys. Come on up here. Good. So, these are Luna's pups. Luna's the full sibling to Mon. Tecla's the grandmother. Dakota's the grandpa. And of course, these are Karoo babies. Karoo. Yikes. Wow. That's my ankle. That's my Achilles heel there, buddy. Yeah, beautiful dogs. So, uh, very easy to feed these pups. Don't worry about rough. You just hang on to them. You don't want to get wound up in that roughage thing. And at the max, when they're a year old, you can add about 10% of berries, a little bit of apple, a little bit of kelp. Don't uh, don't get carried away. No grains, no peas, no corn, no rice, no potatoes. Don't cook nothing. But they can uh, they like fat. Buy fatty cuts of pork. Buy the bones too. If you're barbecuing, of course you buy that. Buy all the cuts with the bone, and then just chop that bone out. No sense cooking it and throwing it out. So you just chop that bone out, throw it to them when they're bigger. It's cold, it wouldn't work barbecue, and he knows if I'm buying a T bone, he's eating the bone. Yeah. So, yeah. But you can get boxes of bones from the butchers. You can find all these cuts cheap. Now, I have a ration made 
by a Petsco Raw company out of Cranbrook. They're a fantastic company. Food grade products. Beautiful company. Rations made. Varieties of proteins, different boxes. So I can just grab frozen patties, chuck them out. Very nice. But I used to have all my patties made too. Just on a cookie tray, make a softball. So these guys will eat a hardball sized ration the day you get them home. So you just give him that in his dish, God, he'll just wolf that down. He'll be looking for more. And then next morning we'll give him another one, one at night. And very quickly they'll go to a softball, morning and night, two times. And you can put some, sprinkle a little liver on, sprinkle a little oil on, have a little fish. Once we give them a little shot of tripe, and mackerel, salmon, sardines, whitefish, lake fish, freeze all the fish hard. You, right here. Jesus, you're a smart girl. You're my girl. You're so smart. You're so smart. <coughs> They're four and some days old. Four weeks and some days. You are a rock star. You're just like your Uncle Mon. You're just like your Uncle Mon. You're like your dad. You're smart. Smart boy. You're a rock star boy. You are a rock star. This is the little male. I think this is Don and Rosie boy. I'm going to send that boy to them. He's such a good boy. And pure old world working elk out. Look at him. Compact. Powerhouse dog. Beautiful. Black as the ace of spades. One of the nicest looking males ever. Look at this big guy. Holy smokes. Oh, this is the girl. This is Patty's girl. Nice. That's a good girl. Okay. Yeah. See, Luna can pull to these old blacks and same can Peru. Peru's from that old black line too. Magnificent dogs. Oh, 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 holy cow. But Luna's got that beautiful Ravenstone bloodline. So that shows up right here, boy. Yeah. Now Ravenstone and these dogs. Man, there's some Norway hunt blood in here too. Not too far back, of course. There's uh, two Nordic champions. R.M. Kajak, he won a Nordic champion. So he won a hunt championship in Norway, Finland, and Sweden. Yeah, that's, uh, that's in this line. Karu's dad and grandfather and great-grandfather, all hunt champions. Phenomenal dogs. Phenomenal. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Good long, long uh, history on these dogs. This is founding lineage dogs. Right to uh, Heidi. Yeah. Very, very good dogs. Good world. Yes. Yes. And communicator lines. Communicator. You go to the Norland district of Sweden in your heritage, don't you, buddy? That's why you guys are so black, don't you? Beautiful, beautiful. Pure, pure hunt dogs out of that region. Luna, just take it easy. I'm just talking to your pups here. Luna has Vitus right there. So, yeah, what a set of dogs. Hey, by me. You. Hey. I'm talking to you right here. Right here. I'm here. Don't be goofing around over there. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Don't stop part way. No, no. You keep coming right here. You. Right here. Good. 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 Yes, you are a smart boy. Yes, you are a smart boy. Look at your tail. Man, you're something. Look at you. Aren't you a good girl? You are a good girl. Go faster. Go faster. <laughs> oh.
Oh, 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 you're a good girl. Oh, you're a good girl. Jesus, there's my other good girl. There's my big boy. Man, you guys are good. Jesus. Yeah, you can do things with these dogs. You can train these dogs anything. You can train these dogs in many languages, too. Yeah, their dad is bilingual. Yeah. Satu and Mika, they were talking to him all the time, commanding him in Finnish. And in just a couple days, he knew Canadian. <laughs> that was pretty funny, eh? <laughs> So yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he knows a little Spanish. He knows a little French. Some days I tell him, Andale, Andale. <laughs> he's good, that curve. You better, I'm talking to you, you come here. You, you don't be down there, get over here. Don't be trying that trick. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I just put a board so that she couldn't get out, but she's about ready to climb out. You come by me, girl. Ace is your good girl. Get up by me here. Get up by me. What? 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 What a beautiful girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Don't try that trick. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. No, no, you come here. So yeah, don't worry about feeding these guys too fancy. Just vary the proteins, keep it raw, keep it fish. A little bit of tripe, organ meats. Once they're a little bit older, you can add a little berry, a little carrot, a little apple, a little kelp. Don't have to worry. They, this is this is the healthiest line of elk comes going. Oldest lineage you know it. All fed raw from the start, 4,000 years. Why screw that up, right? Why pollute them? All them chemicals, all that processed crap. Look at that dog. She is tough. She's got her feet right off the ground, everything. Where do you think your sister's going? So yeah, keep these guys on raw. You are just like your grandpa. You are just like your grandpa. Amazing. Boy, you pulled a lot out of him. Unbelievable. You will be a magnificent dog. You will be something. Calm, easy going, steady, just like a rock. Yeah. I think we'll send that dog to Pepper. We'll send you to Pepper. Isn't that right, girl? We'll send her to Pepper. She'll be climbing out of my pen all the time. Pepper can train her, tune her in. Pepper can tune anybody in, buddy. Step out of line. And get in well, that's a pretty good video. I'm going to get this baby online. All right, snow to blow, pups to run. Wild. What do you guys say? What? 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 This is a good video. What? Hang on, you guys. Don't be climbing out. 